If you want a dual color effect on your icing, whether you call it a swirl, a twist, or a zebra, the two-tone swirl color effect is the technique you're going to be using. I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. The first one actually uses three decorator bags, a 16-inch and two 12-inch bags. I'm going to take my 16-inch bag, which has been prepared with a 1M tip. I'm going to fold it back. It doesn't have to be very far because I'm going to go ahead and insert my two 12-inch bags. The green and the pink, which are going to go in there side by side, just like that. Fold the bag back up and I'm going to twist all the tops together and then I'm going to go ahead and test this out to see the green and the pink. Half and half, half green, half pink. I think I'm all ready now to pipe on my cupcake. Another way to pipe this swirl is with just one bag. It's a little bit trickier because you're going to be putting the two colors of the icing inside the bag side by side. And you want to make sure they stay on their own size so they don't blend together too much. So let's go ahead and do this. I have my 16 inch bag prepared with a 1M tip and I'm going to fold it back but I want to have a nice wide opening because I'm going to try to get that icing all the way down to the bottom of the tip. I think that's going to work pretty good. My goal is to have the green icing on one side and the pink on the other without smearing them together too much. Okay, I think this looks pretty good. Half my bag is full of green icing. It's really kind of a stripe, a really thick stripe up the inside of the bag. You have to be really careful because it wants to get all around the bag. So be really cautious in this whole process. So I need to clean this spatula before I use the pink. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off with a paper towel. I'm going to turn my bag around so I have a little better access to the other side of the bag. I'm going to go ahead and stick the spatula way down into the bottom of the bag. And again, trying really hard not to mix the colors. If you find this a little bit challenging, just pick up a small amount of icing at a time and put it in the bag. If you don't keep them separate, you're going to lose that crisp definition between the colors. Now I'm going to fold the back of the bag up and squeeze a little icing out on the cake board. It might take just a little while, but I can now see the icing coming through. Oh, there we go. Hey, this is really pretty. Now I'm going to go ahead and pipe a cupcake swirl. So that's how you do a two-tone swirl. You can see they look pretty similar, so you can try either method and see which one works best for you. Two-tone swirls can be used beyond cupcake swirls. Change the tip and the technique to pipe some really cool decorations.